Welcome, next I want to show how to generate PWM signals. Then we have to open IOC file. Then among these options, we choose a pin related to the PWM generation. So we need timer 3, channel 2. Then we go to timer 3 and channel 2. And we enable channel 2 by choosing PWM generation channel 2. Uh, I will keep rescaler to 0 and for that I will set the following value 7999 so since we have 18 megahertz we will have 10 kilohertz PWM signal then we can save then we go to timer 3 initialization function and here we need to insert these two lines in order to start timer and starting PWM signal itself in channel 2. Then within the while loop we can control the DT cycle using this function. So we have timer 3, we have channel 2 and we have to specify the DT cycle. For that purpose I'm going to create a new variable. In every iteration I will add handle to this variable and if this value of this variable reaches 8000 I will reset the value of it and I will insert 10 millisecond delay so the loop time is 10 milliseconds then we can debug Then connect the LED to the appropriate pin and resume and everything is done correctly. The LED light has to increase steadily. Please check my website to get more insi insightful information about the STM32 programming. And, and also don't forget to subscribe and press the like button.